Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Monica Opsis Tarot. I am Amira. Doing a bonus reading here. So let's see who we're reading for. I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, hope you had a chance to check out your weekly read. If you did not, please do so at this time. Also, if you're not subscribed, please do so at this time. Let's see who we're reading for. Cancer. Okay, Cancer, set on tour. We have Cancer, and then we have the number 12. Okay, 12th house, which is um, Pisces energy, but it's about your dreams, subconscious, and um, that kind of far out Neptunian stuff. And then we have Jupiter, okay, which speaks on um, growth, expansion, good luck, and things of that sort. So let's see, what's the message here for my Cancerian friends? Okay, all placements. So wherever you have Cancer in your chart, this message may resonate with you. Um... I'm not going to do a Celtic cross. I originally was going to do that, but I think I'm just going to let the message flow as it as it wants to. Okay. A clear message, please, for Cancer. Using the Tarot of the Divine. These cards are represented by um different deities, folk folklores, and fairy tales from all around the world. Okay. What's the message, please, that you have for Cancer? Messages for Cancer. Some of you may have Cancer and Pisces in your chart with that 12th house showing up. Okay. Um, I, I honestly, the way that I view tarot, I feel like every time we uh, get a reading, do a reading, watch a reading, it, it speaks through um, and of the subconscious, but I definitely feel like that is what we're about to see here. So warning, warning, <laughs> may not like it. Okay. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. We start out here with the Six of Swords. Okay. Transitioning. Going on a new journey. Yeah, definitely a transition. We have the Death card. Major transformation here. Major transformation. Okay, a lot of fear here as well. Lots of fear. Fear in the unknown. Trying to trust um, in, in your inner voice, however... Um, there's some difficulty with that. You may have difficulty right now with tapping into the subconscious and tapping into your intuition. You guys are a very intuitive sign. You also have Scorpio showing up here as well. So, um, all the water signs are on the table. That's what I was saying though. I feel like, um, this has a lot to do with what's going on beneath the surface. Okay. Your shadow self, your shadow side, the subconscious energy, um, and, and being in tune with your intuition. Okay, but with that Six of Swords and Death card energy, I do feel like you're, it's like a journey of self-discovery. Okay, what else for Cancer, please? Journey of self-discovery. I also feel like there's some sort of protection here, like you wanting to protect. And uh, I mean, that is very much a Cancerian trait, right? Like that whole... Uh, um, nurturing energy um you know especially when it comes to home and family um what is this six of coins another six i have two sixes here around this Scorpio energy and around this um, death card. But yeah, I, and the six really is, is also speaks to um, balance, harmony, but I'm, I am I feel like there's a lot here to do with, I don't know, the, the home and family and, and uh, maybe needing to protect, 
Okay, there's there's an element here of protection of you feeling as though you need to protect somebody or something, maybe your children or um, even just to help in some way, shape or form. We have the Ace of Coins, the Seven of Cups. Let me get one more and then I'm gonna. Thank you. The Magician in the reverse. Put the Eight of Coins in the reverse over there at the bottom of the deck. Kids, and, and here's this, this Dreamland energy with, in the Seven of Cups. Okay, that that is the energy of 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 being nose deep <laughs> in that twelfth house. It's sitting right up underneath of this death card, so it, it's it's like there's a need for there there's a need here for transformation in in a certain situation. Okay, I feel like there's also um, like a, a I don't know if there's a desire to move or or um, literally like to. Um, uproot and, and and rebuild in another location here with this six of swords ace of pentacles i mean the ace of pentacles is a new opportunity it's a it's a new foundation okay um it is um a dream right um it's a golden opportunity something that you are are again working to grow and nurture okay some of you may be um literally nurturing a child here, whether in pregnancy or in um, this 3D form. Well, obviously that's 3D as well, but you get what I'm saying. I feel like there's been some self-doubt here as well, self-sabotage and just difficulty in general, but I definitely feel like there's there's a, a need or desire to up, it's, I don't know, like uproot and remove yourself from some sort of difficult situation. We definitely see it here with the death card. But there's, um, like I said earlier, there's a lot of fear here and there's also like confusion as to what this big transformation should be. And so you, you're needing to get clear on that you're needing to get clear on that. I feel like there's also, I'm gonna clarify this um, Six of Coins and Magician in the reverse. Let's just use the same deck actually. I feel like there is, um, I feel like you need more information, okay? There's this, this sense of being unprepared for this change, okay? I think you know you know that it needs to happen, but there's this sense of, of you being unprepared. It's like it's like a, a a a tower moment that needs to occur, right? You know it needs to occur, but on some levels it can't until you gain some extra information or 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 another skill. What is this, please, for cancer? Um, you, 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 there's, I feel like you also need to be more grounded in reality. I, I'm, I'm needing to say that. And especially the, the more I look at that death card, okay, there, there's, there's something and, and, a, you know, in, in alignment with the seven of cups, there's something here that you're not seeing clearly. You're not seeing it clear. It's like looking through rose colored glasses, that kind of thing. And maybe that has to do with the destination or the way to get there. Let's get some more clarity here, please. Yeah, okay. Tell me more about the death card. I 
I feel like right now you're in this period, like I said, of, of knowing that something needs to end or that there needs to be a change, but ha not having gained the clarity or enlightenment yet. And maybe that's because you're on go and, and, and um, so focused on the, the end goal, so focused on the end goal and not the baby steps in between. You know, every day it can be a little small change toward this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you know, the, the card before the death card, the hangman, it asks for you to take a pause. And I feel like you're kind of getting impatient. Clarify the death card. Becoming impatient when you're not ready. Yeah, the world card in the reverse. There, uh, there's, there's a lesson within this. I mean, this is just life, right? There's a lesson within everything that we do and um, everything that everything that we experience so there's a lesson here cancer that you have not yet learned okay world card in the reverse that indicates that the cycle's not over yet and whether that has to do with um self-limiting beliefs okay it has to do with your belief system your your perspective how you're how you're viewing this and also the effort that you're putting into this we saw it at the bottom of the deck earlier when this magician card came out in the reverse of so the eight of pentacles in the reverse which is a lack of focus a lack of determination okay you're needing to to be more focused and on on your perspective okay and what needs to change because that's the thing that you need to gain clarity on in order to move forward in this situation you are you are super uber focused on the end result on on having this new stable beginning Okay, coming out of a period of, of difficulty, coming out of a period of strife, of fighting, of, of conflict, of feeling defeated within yourself or, or even in trying to communicate with others. Um, however, you have to slow down and kind of smell the roses here. Yeah, with the full card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you're, you're, you're not quite ready. You're not. The world... Is the end of the, the, the major arcana, the full card is the, the the beginning of the major arcana, the world card's in reversal here. You're not ready to start a new journey yet. You need to gain clarity on what it is that you need to um, leave behind. Okay, something here cannot go along with you. And that's the main message in the Six of Swords typically. Just like the full card, there is minor, minute, little baggage that comes along on a new journey. And something here you need to still identify. You know what? Tell me more about the Seven of Cups, please. Let's just get into it, shall we? <laughs> Tell me more about the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Thank you. Four of Cups. There it is. Okay. You're distracted. You're distracted. And, and and here's the thing, right, about the Four of Cups and about this Ace of Coins that you want so badly. I know. I know you do. I know. You've been you've been watering it. Okay. You want it to grow when you see this ace. It's it's right there. Um, however, there's something still from your past that you're focused on, whether it be a rejection of some sort or um again, just getting impatient. You know, we all want to just leap over to the other side, but you have to learn a lesson in order to get through to that next portal. Four of Cups indicates that you're also not uh, uh, um, aware, okay? You're not very self-aware or you won't be ready, right? <sighs> when that opportunity is presented to us, we have to be able to recognize it. And basically what I'm saying is you're not in that headspace right now. Okay. You're not in that headspace right now. This the the seven of cups here is asking for you to choose wisely. Um, otherwise there will be consequences. That's what it says. Choose wisely or there will be consequences. And that's what's happening here. You're being urged, okay, to sort of come out of dreamland, step back into reality. I, I also feel like we have somebody who, who who just feels like they are down on their luck, like you know, and and that Jupiter and 12th house energy really together is just not a good headspace to be in. All right. And I mean, it will quickly put you in a depressive state because you're wondering why, why, why has my opportunity not come along? You're not ready for it. 
clarify the six of coins. There's other things that you have to go through still. There it is. <laughs> there it is. And also trust in divine timing. Now this six of coins, Cancer. Okay, six of six of pentacles here. It talks about harmony. It talks about balance. It also talks about that equal um, reciprocation in a partnership or just um, harmony within your within oneself. Okay, so this could be information that you need. This also is is. Um, uh, um, I, I really feel like there's need for an environment change and, and, I, and I, I don't know if that's because that is what you were trying to pull towards or, or that's uh, what's necessary for you. Uh, again, something else for you to get clear on here. Um, but, you know, the six of coins also indicates that there may be um, a need for you to learn how to equally give and take or learn what it means to uh, receive in an equal manner as far as love and and. Um, I mean, finances, okay? Balancing your finances as well here with the Six of Coins. Generosity, okay? Generosity at its core. Pure genuineness. Yeah, but you need to trust in divine timing. And, and you know, it's like you're sitting in the Five of Pentacles energy of, of feeling a little insecure, maybe feeling isolated from other people. And perhaps that's why you're wanting an environmental change or needing an environmental change. You know, maybe after you make that change or make that move, that's when this opportunity will come in for you. However, you need to get clear on that. <laughs> and here it is, the Seven of Wands with the Ace of Cups here. You know, you need to continue um, being determined. The Seven of Wands is about having conviction. And you have another ace here for you right behind that conviction. Okay, tell me about the magician. You have the magician card in the reversal. Okay. This magician card for cancer. <laughs> um, for some reason, I get the sense that this has to do with just wanting, wanting or needing more money in a certain situation. Maybe, maybe feeling like, um, uh once you have more money then you'll have more opportunities or something like that got the empress coming through okay which is um taurus libra energy but it, it is exactly what i was speaking about at the beginning of this about nurturing something growing something <sighs> and, and you have not completed this lesson you, you haven't okay Two of Wands, needing to make a decision here, doing something out of the ordinary. Okay, finding the power within you to make the, dis you know, go towards the thing that you are passionate about. It's about looking into the future. The Empress, my dear, is um, an individual who understands her value, okay? Not anything like that Five of Pentacles energy that we all often sit in um the empress also has had to go through things she does she she has scars okay she has some 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 ignorant uh, uh um, harsh people who she's been in contact with um she's worked for other people and now she works for herself independent of gender okay the empress is someone who understands her value has done the hard work and has earned her title, right? You're still in the midst of, of earning your title because you're going through a lesson right now um, and you need that lesson. You need those experiences. They're not in vain. You need those experiences in order to become who you're meant to be, in order to become um, that empress, in order to build up in that empress status. You know, the magician in the reversal is an indication of a lack of resources. And so I, I, I feel like, I don't know if you're concerned about money, 
um, or, or uh, you know, this is just confirmation that you are not quite ready to, to move on to that new thing. Um, nonetheless, right, uh, there's more here for you to learn in this lesson. There's your card. I am brave. Within lies the courage of my ancestors who bravely sought new adventures. Okay, there it is. Confirmation for somebody. Let's get one more and then I'll close it up. Okay, thank you. I will always rise like a majestic soaring falcon. I flex my wings, enabling me to stay atop of any situation. Okay. So it's here for you. You just have to get clear on what the rest of your lesson is. All right. Cancer, this has been your bonus message. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that something here resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Bye.